Thanks again for coming. As you all know, this is a history-making day here at California Lottery. We are breaking news and setting records today with this announcement. It's very exciting. Uh, I'm going to turn the announcement over to our director, Alva Johnson. He will reveal the winner's name along with the big check on the podium to my left, and then I'll come back and say a few words, including a statement that I'll read on the winner's behalf. So without further ado, I'll turn it right over to Director Johnson. Thank you, Carolyn. Appreciate that very much. Great to see everybody here today. We are really, really excited uh, to be able to make a few announcements, and we're very pleased to see you all today. We're going to get right to it. The long-awaited mystery is now over. The name of the person who is the only player to match all six numbers of the historic Powerball drawing last November is Edwin Castro. We offer our sincere congratulations on this unbelievable and historic win. As you might imagine, Edwin would like to largely remain private he understands his name is part of the public record and now part of history, but he respectfully declined our invitation to appear publicly with us today, understandably so. But we have one more thing to celebrate today. Because of this historic jackpot, the California Lottery raised a record-breaking amount of money for California public education in just one jackpot sequence. Now that's what we call a jackpot sequence, is what we call when a jackpot amount keeps growing and growing and the jackpot amount keeps rolling and rolling as we say in the lottery industry. Because of this just one jackpot, the California Lottery raised a record $156 million for California Woo! public schools, kindergarten through university. That means since the jackpot started in this sequence last November, Californians have raised through sales of lottery products $156.3 million. We're also excited today to announce another big number. Though our final figures for our most recent fiscal year, 21-22, are still undergoing standard review and audits, the preliminary numbers give us great confidence that the California Lottery has raised $2 billion in just one fiscal year alone, for the first time ever, for California public education. These numbers represent promises kept since voters created the lottery in 1984 with the explicit purpose and intent to raise supplemental funding for public education. That's our mission. And that's the reason why California Lottery exists and the point of pride that our whole team brings to work each and every day. It's why we do what we do and work so hard to do it. Our mission is the foundation of every decision and every piece of our operation. Thank you again for being here today. I'll now turn back over to Carolyn to talk a little bit more about this historic winning. Thank you so much. All right, this is an exciting day, as I said, and I will try not to knock this check over to my left. Uh, as the director shared with you, our winner declined the opportunity to be with us today, and as he said, that's understandable. Most of our winners do ask to remain private, but they know their names are part of public record in California, and in that spirit, knowing the interest on this particular announcement today, Edwin Castro asked that we read this statement on his behalf, so I will do that for you now. As much as I am shocked and ecstatic to have won the Powerball drawing, the real winner is the California public school system. The mission of the California Lottery, which is to provide supplemental funding for California public education, both public schools and colleges, makes this a huge win for the state. As someone who received the rewards of being educated in the California public education system, it's gratifying to hear that as a result of my win, the California school system greatly benefits as well. We'll provide written copies of that statement to you as well, but clearly Edwin Castro shares in our love for California schools on this Valentine's Day. Couldn't be more fitting. So I think most of you know a little bit by now about lottery regulations and how that works, but I just want to cover some of the basics. As the director and I both mentioned, Edwin Castro's name is now part of public record, as with all of our winners. But in an effort to balance transparency with privacy, 
That's the only information that's subject to public record. We don't reveal uh, place of residence for our winners, not ages, ethnicity, or any other identifying information, and, and that's a, a great deal of respect we have for our winners' privacy. But we also like to humanize the lottery. We like to reveal the names of our winners, particularly those who win top prizes like Mr. Castro. One more aspect of this win that's public. Our winners, as a lot of you know, get the opportunity to choose the jackpot amount over 30 annual payments or the lump sum, which we sometimes refer to as cash value. That's public information, and in this case, Edwin Castro chose that lump sum, which for this drawing is nearly a billion dollars, $997.6 million. I'll be taking your questions here shortly, but I also want to dive a little deeper into that point of pride Director Johnson mentioned with respect to our mission and the number of winners we have to celebrate today in the form of public school students. Every game, every lottery ticket played in California is a win for public schools. True to our mission, the lottery has raised more than $39 billion, that's billion with a B, in supplemental funding for public schools. That's since the voters created the lottery back in the 80s. Couple of local examples for you. Here in Sacramento County, we've raised nearly $1.5 billion for Sacramento County schools since lottery was created. In Los Angeles County, by example, we've generated almost $10.5 billion in revenue overall. So pretty incredible numbers here at the lottery. And for more than 20 years in a row now, we've raised more than $1 billion for public schools across the state, and we're excited about that $2 billion figure the director just mentioned. This money has never been intended to replace traditional funding stream, streams for schools. It's a modest amount of money compared to an entire school budget, but we hear from teachers and educators all the time how helpful that it is to provide enhanced learning environments, little bells and whistles on programs that students might not otherwise have access to. As I said, I'll take your questions. That wraps up today's announcements and some of the details and the pride that we take in our work. Um, but I'll open up the room for questions about Mr. Castro, about our mission, anything you guys want to ask. Yeah, so as the director described, this drawing was about, uh, was 40 some consecutive rolls. The Powerball jackpot always starts at 20 million. This one rolled up to 2 billion, as we now know. From that sequence alone, just from Powerball sales, we raised a record amount for schools, and that's $156.3 million. <laughs> Keep in mind, that doesn't, that doesn't count sales for Scratchers, Super Lotto Class, or any of our other games. That's just that one game in that three-month period. And clearly, Edwin Castro shares that gratitude for the figure just as much as we do.